Hi, my name is Gleb Alexander and welcome to another quick tip. Today we're gonna talk about how to make a grungy metal material. We'll be using Blender, but the same principles can be applied to the other software as well. First, let's talk a bit about our workflow. What we're gonna use for texturing is box mapping to project our textures from several directions at once and also we're gonna use tiled textures together with tiled grunge maps for mixing them. This obviously means that we won't go into the texture painting by hand and we will do all this stuff procedurally. Ok, so the first layer of our grunge metal material will be the base layer. So let's go ahead and pick the texture that we'll use for the diffuse color and for the roughness input. We need a dark and dull texture because we're gonna tile it and we don't want it to look funky. So I'm starting here with a simple diffuse shader and the next step to do is to mix it with a glossy shader using a Fresnel as a mix factor. The tricky thing here is that we use in our texture not only as a diffuse color but also as a roughness input of the glossy shader. As you can see I'm tweaking the contrast using the color ramp node and then plug it in the roughness input. Using this technique we're trying to simulate the imperfections of the glossy surface and it makes this material very believable. Normally metal should behave more like an image on the left, but this is ok in our case as we are making dirty, grungy metal covered with dust. So let's do the second layer of our material, it's gonna be rust. I'm cranking up the red channel using RGB curves and plug it in the diffuse texture node. The material is pretty simple, the trick here is to use a grunge map to mix it with, a, with the first material. The difference between the glossy and diffuse parts of our shader is what makes it look nice. Ok, the third layer of our material is edge scratches. But how are we going to find the edges? We can use the dirty vertex colors, but I'm gonna show you something different. We're gonna make use of fake ambient occlusion node from B-Wide node pack. This node has the cavity output, which can be used to quickly find the edges. Right now I'm mixing it with a grunge texture to break it up and to make it seem more natural. If we won't do it, uh, this effect will look too flat, too boring and too artificial. Personally I think that edge scratching is the single most important thing that we can do when we try to simulate the metal. And the next step is to make it even more scratched. This time we won't pay attention to the edges of our geometry and we'll simply distribute it all across the model, using the grunge map. At the same time you can add some dirt, some dust and it depends on the setting. Maybe you're doing the game in a Silent Hill setting and you're gonna add some ash. Ok, and here is the final step of our material is lighting. I'm trying to think of lighting as an integral part of the material, because lighting strongly influences the character of the metal. Initially this model was lit only by an HDRI environment, but now I've added some area lights behind the model to achieve the rim light effects. This sharp lighting helps to emphasize the reflective properties of our material. Ok, fine, so let's recall the steps one more time. First we mix the diffuse and glossy to get a base, when apply the rust, edge scratches, some more scratches and dirt and set up the proper lighting to achieve our metal. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial, it was Gleb Alexandro, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.